Yam satis terris nuis, et quidirae grandinis misit pater, et rubente dextera sacras jaculatus arces, terruit urbem. Specifically because I've actually, um, I came here because of Rosemary Wright as well, because it was her course right. and, and I've read. Knowing a bit of modern Greek, I really wanted to learn ancient Greek as well. Gunumise Anasa, Theos Nutis e Brotos Essi, Amentis Theos Essi, Toi Uranon Urana Husin, Artemidis Egoge. Dios cure megaloia, eidos te megathos te fuain te akista eisko. Editis esi brotum toi ex. It's time to meet the staff of classics and learn something of their interests. Well, I was brought up in industrial Lancashire, but within sight of the Pennines, and uh, I really felt the need to live among hills. Um, but Lampeter has offered me everything that I wanted. Uh, just to take one example, I am a fanatical cyclist, and on a Sunday morning, I can cycle along A roads and hardly meet a, a car, or alternatively, I can get on my mountain bike, and within five minutes, I can be cycling up the old Roman road, the San Helen, um, into the hills above Lampeter, where I'll hardly meet anybody. Um, it gives me spaciousness, it gives me a sense of freedom. On the other hand, Lampeter is still quite close to the uh, modern centres, uh, in urban centres. It's only three hours from Manchester, uh, four hours from London. And I think with modern technology, in many respects, Lambda represents the environment of the future. I have come to be doing research on Peter Martyr, the first historian of America. I have an um, edition coming out with the University of California Press. This was a work written in Latin uh, about the voyages of Columbus, but incidentally introduces us to the American Indians. It's the first work of American ethnography. And studying American Indians and the whole concept of anthropology, I began to think about the origins of anthropology. And as with so many things, found it was, of course, Greek. My own work is on crime in Asia Minor. And I concentrate largely on the way in which the countryside was controlled by the town. To do this, I've not only to read the ancient sources, but to go out and locate sites in the field. And some of these are very distant. The first site I'd like to show you is Tapureli, discovered in the 1880s by the English geographer Bent and not visited since 1913. My own uh, discovery is Yeni Kalesi, a late Roman refuge site built of remains from earlier structures overlooking the spectacular Lamas Gorge. And finally, Uchayakla is the fortified centre of an estate possibly belonging to the Emperor Zeno or his general Eloas in the late 5th century AD. Well, Lampeter's Founders Library is one of the greatest antiqu antiquarian collections in Wales. I use these books regularly uh, in one of the core courses in ancient history and also, of course, in my Greek and Roman architecture option. And my interest in these books sits very well alongside my work as the university's curator. This is Pyrenees' engraving in Antiquite Romane of the tomb of Caecilia Metella on the Appian Way, which you see was turned into a fortress in the Middle Ages. And uh, I went there myself uh, three years ago. Um, it's quite a famous monument on the Appian Way. And this is the actual inscription, uh, which is still there. Lampita was very attractive in the sense that 
it's one of the oldest institutions within the UK, um, especially well, the after Oxbridge in England, Wales. So I was I delighted to find a job in an old university <laughs> rather than mm -hmm. a brand new one elsewhere. I got interested in Homer by accident. It, it couldn't be anything, but I chose Homer for my MA subject. And then inevitably I discovered how deep the subject is, how difficult the language and style of Homer was. And so I continued with it, and I, I never find the bottom of it, so I, I, I will never um, stop doing it. Our field class destination in recent years and in the immediate future is the Bay of Naples region in Italy. Above all, this location offers the opportunity to study the, the marvellous remains of uh, the well-known sites Pompeii and Herculaneum, uh, preserved as a result of the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in the first century AD. But in addition, we travel round to the north side of the Bay of Naples to the modern town of Pozzuoli, the ancient Roman port of Puteoli, where in particular a uh, magnificent amphitheatre still stands. We also visit the site of Pyston to the south, <coughs> ancient uh, Poseidonia, originally a Greek colony, where there are still three um, excellent Doric temples standing. And we go to the archaeological museum in Naples itself. Uh, this is where many of the mosaics, wall paintings and other objects uh, from Pompeii and Herculaneum have been removed for preservation and display. Well, coming from a fairly rural background, as I do, I was very pleased to get the chance of a job in a rural university, which makes a very nice contrast with the large universities I'd worked in before. It was very nice to get to know people, to know the people I meet as I walk down the street, uh, to run courses in the things that I'm particularly interested in, and to put on courses in things the students are particularly interested in. I'm going to do a, a new course on medieval Latin next year because some students have asked for it. Uh, I was very pleased to find out how much else there is going on in Lampeter. I've always had plenty to do in the evenings, uh, and I've been slowly learning Welsh since I've been here. Uh, and I was also pleased to find that Lampeter wasn't as remote as I originally imagined. Uh, since I've been here, I've been able to go and watch Ipswich Town play football most sat Saturdays, so it can't be as remote as all that. Now we can start our working day by joining the youngest member of staff as she lectures in the Cliff Tucker Theatre. Today we're going to be looking at some South Italian vase paintings. These are particularly interesting for giving us an insight into relationships between Greek colonies in the West um, and their hometowns back in mainland Greece, and particularly Athens. But teaching is often to smaller, interactive groups. Why, Julian, might have wanted to do this rebuilding in the first place? Uh, what did you work out from what Julian himself said about what his motives might have been for the rebuilding? Um, two things. Um, he wanted to restore the um, sacrifice and tell only the sacrifice to God in heaven. And, um, and there is individual tuition. Now, you've got the start here quite well, Elsa. Um, I like the way you put it was in the middle that instead of just in the middle. And, and you've got the canary erat quite well as well. You could see. The quiet, roomy and well-stocked college library is a source for additional information for essays, which are handed in, marked, and then discussed by student and tutor. Well, this was uh, a good piece of work overall. Mm -hmm. um, it's well structured, which is uh, obviously very important to the success of an essay. And also important, you focus firmly on the question throughout the essay, which is you know, quite an important um, feature. Um, where I did feel it was um, lacking somewhat is um, that you need to be a little bit more um, questioning and critical of your sources. Our working day 
ends in a postgraduate yeah. seminar. Is this the same thing that Aristotle was talking about, where he says that there is, as everyone divines by nature, a common standard of justice and injustice, even if men have made no society and no contract with one another? Would this be the same sort of thing as here? Well, well here it's Empedocles carrying on from Heraclitus mm. to some extent, but do we have any problems with that? Um, well, I just wanted to know the Greek words that he uses for love and strife and their usual context um, in the Greek. Um, you say they have psychological and natural functions in mm. this theory. Uh, are they more used psychologically in the Greek? Or are they used in, in natural but it's not all serious. These things, the sparks and the forge didn't stop you taking your wine from him. What's this? Are you crying? Don't be afraid. Anyone who tries to hurt you will regret it. And there is a full life waiting at Lampeter. Thucydides said that the past is studied because human nature being what it is, similar events will at some time or other and in much the same way be repeated in the future. There's the history, but also the many other facets of the ancient world persist into this in the next millennium, in the languages spoken throughout most of Europe, in the literature we read, in long epics and short lyrics, tragedies and comedies, novels and biographies, in the places where we congregate for entertainment and sporting events, in our art and architecture, in the bases of most of our sciences and professions, cosmology and physics and biology and mathematics and music, medicine and law. It has always been my concern to argue against the study of classics as elitist. It is open to all and with so many aspects to choose from, everyone can enjoy some part of the experiences of the Greek and Roman worlds, and it's not so very difficult to pick up the languages. Haide, hotide potomoia ruon pericali hikonto, enthe etoi plena esem epeetanoi, polide huder kalon hupec prorie, mala per ochboeunta catherai, Enta haige, hemionus men hupec proelius anapenes. Taitas men, suan potamon para dine enta, trogain agrist in meliadia. Taide, apa penes, hemete hersin helonta, kai esforion melan hudor, stabon di en bothroisi, thoos erida profarusai. Autar, epe plunante, catherante ropapanta. Hexaeis petasan parathina halos, heki melista laingas poti herson a popluneski thalassa. Haide, lowe samenai, kai chrysomenai lipelaio, deipnon a peter helonto, paroxesin patamoio. Hemeter di eelioio, menon tersemenai alo.